In this video I'm going to demonstrate how the backstay affects mainsail shape and how mainsail shape affects your sailing. But before I go on and explain how the backstay works, we first need to understand how a sail works. If you look carefully at the picture you'll see a sail as seen from above. The lines above and below it represent the wind or the air mass. What happens is simple. Because of camber, that little curvature you'll see on the sail, the air that travels over the sail has to travel at a higher velocity than the air that travels below it. Once air travels at a higher velocity over a surface, it creates a depression. The air below it creates a pressure because it's being slowed down. It's the sum of these two vectors that will make your sail pull or will make your boat move forward. This is possible because the sail has built in its shape a little curvature shaped in the panels that causes that camber, that's that the curvature, but in sailboats we refer to it as draft. The more draft you have, the more lift, but also the more drag. Let's now look at the different rig configurations. We have masthead rig on the left and fractional rig on the right. The main difference is that on the masthead rig, that's a drawing on the left, both the forestay and the backstay meet at the top of the mast, and in the fractional rig, only the backstay goes to the top of the mast. The forestay will stay a couple feet, a couple meters below the top of the mast. The difference in action is that a pull on the masthead rig's backstay we create tension and pull on the forestay, where a pull on the fractional rig's backstay will not create any added tension to the forestay, it will just bend the mast backwards. The masthead rig is commonly found in cruisers and more relaxed sailing types of boats. Whereas the fractional rig is normally found in race boats or racer cruisers or boats whose owners like to push the envelopes of their sailing boats a little bit more. They both have advantages and disadvantages. The fractional rig is just a little bit more tweakable. You can do more tuning and more trimming to your sails with a fractional rig than you can do with a head stay arrangement. Here's a real backstay that can be adjustable and as you can see it meets the top. On a head stay or a, a mast head uh, rig, a pull in the backstay will also cause a pull in the stay. Therefore there's not much you can pull. If you exaggerate your pull you'll be bending the boat upwards like a banana and you don't want to do that. The other rig, the fractional rig, if you pull the back stay, because it's not counteracted by the stay, it causes a belly in the mast. You can see the mast representation on the right, in red. You can see that it causes a belly. This belly, in turn, will create an increase or a decrease in camber or bag. On the left side, you can see the back stay loose. Camber is pretty much exaggerated here but it's pretty high. With a backstay tension there is almost no camber. Let's see that in real life. So we have our backstay that goes all the way to the top of the mast and this boat is a fractional rig so if I pull the backstay it will not create more tension in the, f in the front stay but it will create a belly as I'm representing here with my hands. This boat's backstay is pulled on the floor. Your boat might change but it doesn't matter in this case. So I'm going to pull the backstay and what this is going to cause is it's causing the sail to flatten. It will decrease camber because it decreases camber, it decreases lift and therefore it will decrease sail efficiency and the position of the center of effort. In this case now the mast is fully bellied. I'm now going to release the backstay. Once the backstay is fully released the sail will gain its camber again. In this footage here you can see a boat with excessive healing. That's a great sailor at the tiller, by the way, or at the rudder. Now we're pulling the backstay and you can see that the boat healing is decreased. 
what happens here is the sail had too much camber because it had too much camber it had too much lift and once it has too much lift it's probably going to overheal your boat or cause some weather helming so by pulling on the backstay we flatten the sail flattening the sail decreases camber decreases lift and the boat will decrease heel and probably will assume a more comfortable uh, level and make everybody happy and you will see that it actually accelerates so what you want to do is if you're sailing in strong winds more than what your boat can handle or maybe more than what you can handle uh, you should sail with your backstay fully tensioned fully belly on the mast if you're sailing uh, average medium winds then Maybe a happy medium would be fine, and if you're sailing in light conditions, you probably want to release your backstay to provide the maximum draft or camber to your sails, make you sail better. Remember, if you're going downwind, you also want to release your backstay, create more bag on that sail, give you more speed. Please, go on your boat, go to sea or the lake or wherever you sail, and play with your backstay. Play with the line see what does what you're probably riffing when all you had to do is just tension your backstay properly you'll accelerate you'll probably end up beating the hell out of your neighbor and piss him off but hey that's sailing so good luck go play with the backstay and you'll be surprised